In today's video, you will not only get to see what the 1987 cast of A Different World looks like then versus now, but you will also get a quick update on what they're currently doing. So if you're curious, hit that like and subscribe button and come with me down memory lane so we can reminisce about the good old days. Hi LaBelle played Adele Wayne when she was 43 years old. She is now 79 and has had a successful acting career in addition to her music career. And not only is she still active in the industry, she continues to tour and perform live. She has had several upcoming concerts scheduled in 2023 and 2024, including performances at the Soaring Eagle Casino in Mount Pleasant, Michigan, and the Coronado Performing Arts Center in Rockland, Illinois. Dominic Huffman played Ken Solji and Julian Day when he was 24 years old. He is now 60 and is still active in the entertainment industry as an actor, writer, and an audiobook narrator. In 2022, he starred in a movie called Swamp Lion and he also narrated casual vignettes of Gilded Volcarity, which was a short movie. In 2023, he starred in an episode of The Rookie Feds and narrated a book called The Heaven and Earth Grocery Store. He's also currently writing his first book of short stories. Corey Tyler played Terrence Taylor when he was 14 years old. He is now 50 and he began working as an actor when he was 5 years old. He currently is a creative arts facilitator and a teacher at NYC NBC. He actually decided to retire from the entertainment industry in 2010 and formed a production company called Tyroon Entertainment. He is also the son of famed comedian and ventriloquist Willie Tyler. Kim Wayans played Allison when she was 25 years old. She is now 61, and the last known TV show she was in was an HBO sketch comedy series called A Black Lady Sketch Show in 2021. She is currently married and co-wrote a series of children's books with her husband, Kevin Knott, entitled Amy Hodgepodge. Although you may not have seen her in any TV shows or movies this year, she is currently very active on Twitter. Marie Elise Rickastner played Millie when she was 25 years old. She is now 61, and there doesn't seem to be any recent or upcoming projects in the entertainment industry that she is involved with. She is currently active on Instagram and is currently married to Wolfram DeMarco, whom she married in 2002. She previously mentioned in an interview that raising her children is at the top of her priority list. She's had two sons at the time of the interview. Karen White played Charmaine Brown when she was 22 years old. She is now 58 and is still acting till this day, with one of her more dominant reoccurring role in 2022 in the TV show called Monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story. Now, in 2023, she has played in one episode of both The Kick of Destiny and Young Sheldon TV shows. She is also in the Anthias Theatres Company's production of She from October 15th to November 20th, 2023. As per her personal life, she dated Malcolm Jamal Warner from The Cosby Show for seven and a half years that ended in 2017. Currently, she has never been married nor has any children. Jada Pinkett Smith played Lena James when she was 16 years old. She is now 52 and recently wrote her memoir called Worthy. The book is expected to address assumptions and falsehoods about her life. She also hosts a show called Red Table Talk, but it recently got canceled on Facebook Watch Originals platform. But she did say that she is going to look for a different platform to continue her show. She's also battling alopecia and on her Instagram page, she did say that her hair is trying to make a comeback. AJ Sanders played Gina DeVoe when she was 19 years old. She is now 56 and she was in a documentary in 2022 called Fat Tuesday, The Era of Hip Hop Comedy, which is currently streaming on Amazon Prime. And she was previously married to Michael Brownlee, but they divorced in 2016. She's also active on Instagram, where she shares updates on her work as an actress, comedian, and creator and producer. 
Lou Myers played Vernon Gaines when he was 51 years old. He died when he was 77 after battling pneumonia for several months. He appeared in many movies, stage plays, television sitcoms, and dramas. His final film role was in the movie called Dreams in 2013. One thing a lot of people didn't know about him was that he was an accomplished pianist. He has a grown son as well as a grandson. Glenn Turman played Colonel Bradford Taylor when he was 40 years old. He is now 76 and is still an in-demand figure in Hollywood. In 2023 alone, he has been in three movies like Weston and has a recurring role in the TV show Percy Jackson and the Olympians coming up in 2024. Glenn has been married three times with one of his ex-wives being Aretha Franklin and he also has four children but none with Aretha. Cree Summer played Freddie Brooks when she was 18 years old. She is now 54 and is a highly respected actress and singer who has had a successful career in entertainment. She is best known for her voice work in animated television shows and films and is currently doing voiceovers for the Super Mario Bros. movie and The Legend of Vox Machina TV show. She is recently divorced and has two children. Charnel Brown played Kimberly Reese when she was 26 years old. She is now 62 and a talented actress, singer, and fashion designer. She has her own clothing line that is located in Los Angeles, California. Brown is still active in the entertainment industry and has a strong presence on social media. She wrote the play The Black Man, which debuted at Houston's Midtown Arts and Theater Center in March 2023. And she also joined Monique in this year's horror film The Reading, which was produced by Lee Daniels. Sinbad played Coach Walter Oaks when he was 30 years old. He is now 66 and he is still active in the entertainment industry, but unfortunately, he recently had a stroke and is still currently recovering and learning how to walk again. It was reported that his family has organized a comedy fundraiser to help cover his medical expenses. He is currently remarried to his ex-wife and they have two children together. Daryl M. Bell played Ron Johnson when he was 24 years old. He is now 60 and is a pretty successful actor, producer, and entrepreneur. He is the founder of DMB Media, an independent production company, and he also works as a professional speaker. He has been in a 30-year relationship with actress Tempest Bledsoe, who played Vanessa Huxtable on The Cosby Show. Daryl's latest project in 2023 is called Make Me Scream, which is a Halloween special that is now streaming on both Prime video and Amazon freebie. Loretta Devine played Stevie Rellin when she was 38 years old. She is now 74 and has had a very successful career in both film and television. Her last TV show included a role on Days of Our Lives playing Angela. And not only was she recently in a movie called A Snowy Day in Oakland, she is set to star in Lost and Found in Cleveland. She is also currently married and has two children. Mary Alice played Letty Bostick when she was 50 years old. She passed away in 2022 when she was 85. She was a talented actress who had a successful career in television, film, and stage. She was known for her roles in A Different World, Sparkle, and Fences, and won several awards for her performances. Her legacy in the entertainment industry will be remembered for years to come. Kadeem Hardison played Dwayne Wayne when he was 22 years old. He is now 58 and he continues to be in TV shows as well as films. In 2022, he was in TV shows like Grownish, The Lincoln Lawyer, and Moonhaven. And in September 2023, he appeared in HBCU Night at the Apollo with Jasmine Guy. Kadeem is currently not married, however, he does have a daughter with his ex-wife. Jasmine Guy played Whitley Gilbert when she was 25 years old. She is now 61 and has been in a large amount of TV shows and movies since A Different World Ended. In 2023, she was a main cast member on the TV show called Chronicles of Jessica Wu and that role got her her first Emmy nomination. She is currently divorced and has one daughter. Dawn Lewis played Jaleesa Vincent Taylor when she was 26 years old. She is now 62 and is still acting till this day. From 2022 to 2023, she's had a reoccurring role in the TV show called Young Rock and has established a very strong voice acting career. She is currently doing the voice of Judith in the animated series called Fired on Mars. She was previously married for a short time but is now divorced and according to reports, she doesn't have any children. 
Marissa Tomei played Maggie Lawton when she was 22 years old. She is now 58 and still has a strong acting career. She has been in movies like Avengers Endgame and also has been a part of the Spider-Man franchise since 2017. And she is set to be in a movie called She Came to Me with Anne Hathaway. She has never been married before nor has any children. Lisa Bonet played Denise Huxtable when she was 19 years old. She is now 55 and her last known credited shows were in 2016 where she appeared in both TV shows called Girls and Ray Donovan. As per her personal life, in 2017, she married Jason Momoa but they decided to end their relationship in 2022. They have two children together, a girl and a boy. Thanks for coming down memory lane with me and if you enjoyed this video, watch this one next.